Hello everybody, hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I thought I would vlog for the next few days and do a bit of a vloggy vlog this week. I hope you're doing really well and I hope you have had a lovely week if you're watching this at the weekend. And if you are watching it at the weekend, I hope you're having a lovely one. A nice relaxed Sunday if you're tuning in on Sunday morning. The sun has just come out to say hello, which is lovely. We're getting some September sunshine and I'm starting the vlog in Islington today because I'm on work duties. I'm here at the big Christmas press show, which is a collection of lots of different brands that come together every year and they showcase all of their wares, all of their Christmas gift ideas to the press and to influencers and it's always really festive and really special and something that I love coming to because it kind of gives me a bit of an insight as to what's going to be hitting the stores this Christmas and this festive season and I can then find gift ideas to share with you and all that kind of stuff. And this year they've asked me again to be one of the judges for the big Christmas award where basically there's lots of different entries of fantastic gift ideas in different categories and there will be three winners so I've been very busy judging the awards and also today very exciting I'm actually going to be hosting the awards with Courtney who is the founder of CIJ group so very excited for that and very excited to be announcing all of the fabulous winners of the different categories and there's been some really good gift ideas within them it was very difficult to choose my favorite hopefully we'll have time to have a little look around and I'll be able to show you some of these gift ideas as well I know it's very early but they they do this in September so that everybody can kind of get ahead and meet the different brands and you know get all the inspiration so here we are kicking off a busy day and a busy few days actually so this evening very exciting we are off to the NTA Awards with Sort Your Life Out a lot of the team are coming as well which I'm really happy about so myself Stacey Dillian Rob will be there and also lots of the team that work really hard behind the scenes are coming too so it'll be really lovely to see all of them We've literally just finished filming another episode. I just finished that the day before yesterday and it's one of those weeks where I don't know what day it is. Because <laughs> when I film across weekends, it always throws me off. I actually have not got a clue what day we're on today. I just know what I'm doing today. I think it might be a Wednesday. I think we are on a Wednesday. <laughs> I think I need a coffee before I host these awards. So, um, we'll go into the big Christmas press show. We'll have a little mooch around if there's time as well. I'll show you a bit of behind the scenes of myself on hosting duty. I've got all my cards ready, so yeah, hopefully I won't fluff. I'm a little bit nervous though. Sometimes I do still get a little bit nervous with public speaking, but I guess that's normal, isn't it? Nerves can be good. I try to channel them into excitement and use them that way. And also I think BBC Breakfast want to have a little chat with me about advent calendars today as well so yeah hopefully I'll be talking to them and sharing some tips on how we can make them more affordable or if you're buying the more expensive ones how you can really make the most of everything that comes within those and yeah after this I'm gonna dash um, back home get myself ready for the NTAs this evening I'm hoping apologies for the siren we are in central London I'm hoping to get a haircut but I have to go to my favorite barber and if he's not on today I'm gonna leave my hair as it is I think it looks okay but I wouldn't mind a little fresh trim and a beard trim um, before the awards this evening and then yeah I thought we'd vlog over the next couple of days lots has been going on at home too and then on Friday I'm off up to Manchester where I'm hosting another event which is very exciting and I'll tell you more about that one soon but it's with a a lovely homeware brand and yeah I'll be hosting that up in Manchester and there'll be lots of lovely autumn homeware as well and also some of the more kind of festive Christmassy homeware too so yeah there's gonna be a little bit of festivity in this vlog just to warn you now <laughs> but there'll also be lots of your regular vloggy vlog 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 don't know what I'm saying anymore I should probably get inside and get myself sorted <laughs> expertise on his own channels as well as the most loved daytime shows. He also appears alongside Stacey Solomon in the NTA nominated BBC One's Sort Your Life Out and it's an honour to have him as part of our judging panel this year. So please give a warm round of applause to you and Carrington. In January so I think <laughs> the sales straight away and get organised. So this is like my idea of absolute 
heavens, I'm delighted to be with you here today. And we've tried to make the winners of the wish list cater to all members of the family and loved ones. So there's going to be something here for whoever you're buying for. And we've had hundreds of fabulous entries this year, which has made the judging process all the more difficult for us, which is why we are so excited. And the winners are Speed Championship by Lego 2099. Judges pick goes to Pop Up Playtown by Wilton Bradley 1999 and Judge Ollie Locke. Okay, that's my hosting duties done. Let's go for a little look around. I'll show you some of my favourite bits that I've seen here. This was one of my favourite gifts for this year and it actually won the judges pick. It's the NSPCC letter from Santa. This is from a minimum donation of £3 and of course raising money for a wonderful charity as well. This is a very lovely gift as well, this personalised festive plate. This is £35 from Not On The High Street and I really love this one as well for the kids. This is a pop-up theatre so you can create like a theatre in a doorway which I think is just so lovely for children to play with. A really nice kind of imagination play gift. So yeah this one also won judges pick and it was one of my favourites. This is from Wilton Bradley and it's 1999. Another favourite of mine was the Traitors Crackers. I just love the TV shows. So I thought this was a really nice twist on you know your traditional crackers. It means that you can kind of play the Traitors at home as well which I just think around the Christmas table could be really really fun and then I also really loved just for a simple quick and easy gift Secret Santa I'm thinking and it's this candle and again this was a um, judge's pick as well from B&M five pounds it's a beautiful candle but then you get the snow globe element which obviously you can keep um, and use as a decoration too so yeah really beautiful and I think great for a fiver this is the B&M stand where they've got all of their products on display they've got really lovely decorations this year. I'm loving this kind of green and white theme that they've got going on. So B&M have very cleverly divided up kind of like their gift ideas for different people and I really love the pet section here. I've just spotted this winter paws, paws off stocking. I feel like I have to get one of these for pumpkin and mittens at some point. I actually spotted the um, cat water bottles in store as well. We have an Ugg dupe here. These are eight pounds and really lovely design, look at that. This was another of my favourites. This is the Thermos Icon Straw Cup and it comes in some really lovely colours. And I just thought this was such a nice design. I like the fact that it doesn't have a handle on this one. And yeah, it keeps drinks cold for 22 hours as well. Merry Christmas. weather is not what we are hoping for when I've got to walk a red carpet later. Hopefully this is going to be a passing shower. Big Christmas wish list awards went really well. That was really enjoyable and it was lovely to chat to lots of people there as well and see what's going on with all the different brands for Christmas time. And now I'm back home. I managed to get my hair cut, which I'm very pleased about. My barber was there, so that was lucky and he was able to squeeze me in. So I feel a bit more, a bit more fresh, a bit more sharp <laughs> well i'm saying that i just really feel like cuddling up on the sofa with pumpkin and mittens now i always feel like that before i've got to go to an event especially if it's like a posh one or a little bit of a scary one this one's on live television so that's why i say that and yeah i just always think to myself i think there's two things isn't there there's like fomo which is fear of missing out which you can have if you don't go to these things and then there's jomo which is the joy of missing out which is if you don't go to something and then you have a lovely time at home. But this is one that obviously I really do want to go to, but you just have that moment sometimes, don't you, before you have to kind of get ready and gear yourself up for a kind of adrenaline fueled evening. So I'm having that moment now. It's the total procrastination sitting on the sofa thinking I've got an hour until the taxi arrives but I'm gonna have a little cuddle with the fur babies first. <laughs> and it is absolutely chucking it down outside now. I'm hoping that this is going to be the rain out of the way then. I think it does say that it's gonna stop on the weather app at about, I think six maybe. So yeah, my car's coming at half five and it is now, I think it's about 20 past four at the moment. 
So yeah, probably should get in the shower. Oh, up here, that's the lamp that I got from the boot sale. You all told me what it was made out of, and I've still forgotten the name again, but you all know what I'm talking about. And the lampshade from Dunelm that I picked up to go on that, and I think that looks quite nice up there. I've got this charity shop print, which I don't think it's gonna stay there, but I just thought I'd tell you what is going on behind me. And before I head off to the NTA Awards this evening, I do wanna say a massive thank you to all of you who've taken the time to vote for Sort Your Life Out. I know lots of you have commented to let me know that you have voted, and lots of you may have voted and not commented, so a big thank you to all of you who have taken the time to vote for us. It's so appreciated. It's a public vote, as I've said already, so yeah, we'll just have to see who got the most votes from the viewing public, and I do love that about these awards. I love that it's decided by the public that's watching the television programmes and it's what they love. So yeah, whichever programme wins tonight, it is down to the public, which I think is fantastic. And it's such an honour for the programme to be nominated that we love making so much. So yeah, a massive thank you to you if you have taken the time to vote for us this evening. And I do get lots of questions about when the new series is going to start and I'm not sure. As soon as I know, I will share it on all of my social media, including here on YouTube. But yeah, I have no idea at the moment. We're still filming the series. So yeah, I'm guessing it will probably be in the new year sometime. But yeah, I actually have no idea. So I will let you know as soon as I know. You know the temperature's dropped when these two start to snuggle up again. Are you two having a lovely little snuggle? So we have Pumpkin here and he's kind of sprawled over mittens keeping her warm. So are you two gonna tune in tonight and cheer daddy on? <laughs> you got your paws crossed for us. Pumpkin's thinking a snooze is what's in order. It's raining, isn't it, Mittens? Pouring down. Yeah. <laughs> haven't broken a sweat which is a good sign I feel like I'm on the verge <laughs> but I've tried to keep cool calm and collected I'm wearing this suit from next I've actually worn this one to an event before I thought I would re-wear it for tonight it's like this lovely navy blue and it's got a bit of pattern in it which I thought would be quite nice for photos and things and this tie I've had for ages as well with a little bit of sparkle in it and I'm wearing my classic Gucci loafers that I always wear to events and yeah shirt as well it's all um bits that I had in the wardrobe already. So, I think it's time to go. I've got myself a little diet Red Bull to take in the car with me. I've just had a prawn sandwich meal deal. So I had two baby bells from the co-op. That's the situation here. I'm always, <laughs> whenever I go to things like this, I never know what to eat beforehand. It's quite a long evening and I don't think we get fed. Maybe there'll be like some nibbles afterwards, but I think throughout the whole kind of award, there's no food. So yeah, sort of need to eat something, but don't feel like a full dinner. And yeah, the car's outside, so it's time for me to head to the O2 in London where the awards are being held this evening. I'm gonna leave my vlog camera at home and just take my phone with me. So hopefully I'll get a few clips and things. Um, if not, I'll just try and get some clips from the television. I'll watch it back later on and get some clips from that instead. But yeah, fingers crossed for us this evening. Fingers crossed it doesn't rain anymore. It's looking like the September sunshine is back, which is fabulous. And I will probably catch up with you in the morning. You come in and you're like, I don't know where to start with this. You've got no systems, so it's like, well, even if I wanted to put it away, where would I put it? 
you reckon that's a storage? I think there might be storage under there. Oh, wouldn't that be good if it's a seat box? <laughs> <laughs> And the National Television Award goes to... Sort Your Life! last night <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that and you might be able to tell that we had a bit of a party <laughs> after winning the NTA award last night I cannot believe that I'm saying this I want to say the biggest thank you to all of you that voted for us because I know that so many of you did take the time to vote you commented and I know some of you probably voted and haven't commented and you've just taken the time to vote for Sort Your Life Out, and we won. I still, I still can't quite believe it. I watched it back when I got in last night on the television to try and make it feel a little bit more real that we won it. It still hasn't sunk in. We are all absolutely over the moon, and you know, this is a public vote, and our category, the programmes in it are all so popular, and some of them really long-standing shows as well and yeah for us to have won it from the public vote is incredible it is just brilliant so yeah the biggest thank you to you if you did take the time to vote for us because i think every single one of those votes has made the difference and has made us win which is yeah just unbelievable i am so thankful to you if you did take the time to vote for us and it was a really good night as well. We were first up, so the category for factual entertainment was the first up. So we'd literally just sat down, Stacey was getting all the crisps out of her bag. She'd bought a hold all full of crisps and snacks. So we were just getting involved with the snacks. And first category, Graham Norton comes on the stage and it's for the factual entertainment category, which we were part of. None of us knew that we would be up first. And then before we knew it, they were announcing Sort Your Life Out as the winners and we were getting up on the stage. I say we were getting up on the stage. We were a complete mess shambles. We didn't know where to go. We were jumping around and cheering. It took ages for us to get up onto the stage. I'm sure whoever was up in the gallery directing the NTA awards was probably 
saying hurry up get up there because the show's live and you know it's, it's three hours on ITV and they're probably thinking we're taking far too much time getting up to the stage and yeah just absolutely surreal moment and a really special one and I think Stacey just said it all in her speech thanking everybody that works on the show from all the runners that work tirelessly laying out everything in the warehouses and all the support that we get behind the scenes from the brilliant crew and production team and to all the families as well who you know open up their lives and their homes to us and to the nation so yeah it was a really lovely speech and then we went backstage to a room where there was loads of press to do photographs and to answer their questions and then we went back into the arena and watched the rest of the awards which was brilliant and then had a bit of a party <laughs> the after party I can't remember what time I left what time did I go home? I saw Angela Rippon, who lots of you will know from Strictly Come Dancing. I know lots of you will know for years because she's had this amazing broadcasting career. And she's in her 70s and I left her at the after party. She was partying away, which I, I just love to see. I think she is such a legend. I think it was after midnight. I feel a little bit... You know when they say... What is the expression? You know when they say like keep your feet on the ground. I feel like that's what I need to do today. I actually feel like I wanna just go and sit in the park with bare feet, I need to ground myself. I feel like I've got a lot of like adrenaline, like energy, you know that feeling where you're a bit like wired. I feel like today needs to be a day of grounding. So yeah, I probably, it's a beautiful sunny day again, so I think I just need to go and sit in the park for a bit, sit in nature. <laughs> and I can't hear properly as well, you know, and it's been quite noisy. Um, yeah, I've got that feeling of like my ears are slightly buzzing. But yes, we have an NTA award. It's gone home with Stacey to be looked after in Pickle Cottage. And yeah, it just hasn't really sunk in that we actually won that. I've been going through all my messages and comments on Instagram as well. I put a post up there. It's a really blurry photograph, but it was just as we came off the stage in the moment. So I love it because it's just like, I think it really captures our excitement. Feeling very, very happy and grateful and um, proud of all of us, all of the team and everybody involved with the show. It is wonderful. So yes, the biggest thank you again to all of you for supporting the programme and supporting me here as well. You, lots of you have followed my journey on the show from getting the screen test. They found me from my YouTube channel, as you may know, from my cleaning videos on here. And yeah, it went from there. So. I have all of you to thank for being part of the programme as well. So yeah, the biggest thank you to all of you watching. And now, I'm going to have a quick sip of my coffee. I've got my mug as a reminder for everybody to follow your dreams, because you never know what might happen. And yeah, I think it's going to be a chill day today, he says. I've got loads... Oh, what's going on? Is it in focus? I haven't got my contact lenses in. Oh dear. I don't look very good. I look very, like, I feel like I've got a crumpled face. I need to have a shower. And yeah, I think it's going to be a chill day today. I have bought a um, cat tower for the babies that I might pop up later. I'm really enjoying being up high, as, you know, cats do like it, don't they? And they're often up on the mantelpiece and they've also been on the dining table, but I've had an empty basket on it and they've sort of made that a thing that they really enjoy. So yeah, I just wanted to get them one of those cat towers. It's got some scratching posts and the different levels and I'm gonna get that built for them because I think they'll they'll enjoy having a little perch that probably will keep in here in the living room, but it might end up going up to the loft. So I'll build that later on. But I've got a lot of, yes, you guessed it, editing and admin to do today. As always, I'm probably just gonna go and sit in the library or sit in prep with my laptop for most of the day. And I'm at some point gonna sit in the park as well and ground myself. <laughs> that is the vibe. And another exciting day as well tomorrow, I'm going up to Manchester um, hosting the event with Online Home Shop. Oh, let me show you what they sent me. So this is the invite they've sent out to everybody, which I think is really lovely because in here we have, you'll see the theme of the event. <laughs> so we have these cookies that have all been decorated for autumn and Christmas times. So we have a pumpkin, we have the tree in the truck there, the candy cane and a lovely autumn wreath. So that is such a lovely touch. I think invites like this, absolutely stunning. And here is the invitation. I love how they've designed this. I think it looks really lovely. And on here, it says everything that's happening 
including, where is it, my little talk where I'm going to be putting together a bedroom for £150. So I've selected some of my favourite products from Online Home Shop and yeah, I'll be doing a bit of a demonstration styling up a little bit of a bedroom in the event space so yeah really looking forward to that and then there's going to be a dinner as well so yeah off to manchester tomorrow back to reality today and a day of the laptop and a day with pumpkin and mittens as well I need to spend as much time as i possibly can cuddling them today <laughs> so that's probably going to be the next half an hour or so it's going to be cuddle time you've been after this box i know you have pumpkin because i can see nibble marks around the edge of it don't think I didn't notice. I did see all the nibble marks around the side of the box. Yeah, I did. And I know it was you. You like to knock it on the floor to get my attention, don't you? I put it on the little table over there and pumpkin swipe things off as if to say, hello, I'm here, <laughs> which is what he's doing now. I do have a lot of home updates, so I'm gonna do that in a separate vlog, which will be coming, I think, next week for you, including I bought some bits for the roof garden. The bedroom's pretty much finished, so I'll update you on that. Kitchen, I've got all the paint samples. I've got some from Helen, I've got some from the boot sale. I've painted all the samples onto pieces of paper, ready to kind of make the decisions, need to get that kitchen finished as we're looming through September. But yeah, I'll stop bending your ear off now, and I think with the day that I've got planned today, I'll probably pick up the camera again tomorrow as we head off to Manchester. This is all built and Pumpkin and Mittens have been enjoying taking it on turns for a little climb this morning, although it's Mittens who has settled on here for a little snooze. You liking your new perch, Mittens? And you won't believe where Pumpkin is. Of course, Pumpkin has discovered the box. <laughs> so I've popped a little cushion in there for him and he's having a little snooze in there. Good morning. Well, last night I assembled the new cat tower and I'm really pleased with it. It is really big. I love the fact it comes in this beige colour as well. They had it in grey too, but the beige in here, it kind of just blends in to the walls a little bit. It's kind of like a really nice tone and it's nice and strong as well. I was a little bit worried with pumpkin being a little bit heavier than mittens with the two of them on it as well, that it might be a bit rickety, but it feels really nice and solid and it was quite easy to assemble too. Just lots of little kind of bolts that you screw together and follow the instructions and all the pieces were numbered so that was quite helpful. I have both of them down here <laughs> kind of wobbling the tripod a little bit. If you come to say hello I know we've got some new bits here so they're always curious to see what I've brought into the home into their palace of course but yeah I'll link the cat tower for you in the description box. It was £29.99 in the sale it's on offer at the moment so it may well still be on offer. I think it was down from £50 as well so yeah pumpkins over there now having a good old scratch on it too so yeah, they seem really happy with that, so I'm pleased. I think I'm also gonna cut the elastic um, toys that are hanging down off it just for extra safety. I'm never sure about like having hanging elastic with the kittens. So yeah, I'm gonna cut those off and I'll just use them, the teaser, just when I play with them. So yeah, that will be linked in the description box if you're interested. And next up, I have just been to the in-post locker to collect a little vintage purchase. I thought I would show you what I bought. I treated myself to some new trainers. I say new, these are pre-loved, although worn once it said from the seller and I think that's probably a pretty accurate description because they are absolutely spotless, as you can see, inside as well. I always think, you know, if you look inside and there's signs of kind of like a sock or anything, but there's nothing like that in there. So pretty much brand new for these. These are New Balance and they're a collaboration with a brand called Casablanca, which is why it's got the kind of pattern on here. And these were £40 on Vinted which I think is a really good price for these trainers. I think they're actually still for sale online at £180 or something like that. I know £180 is a lot of money for a pair of trainers, but I feel like trainers have always been really expensive, haven't they? Like um, branded ones. So very pleased to get a pair of trainers and nice ones like this, which are kind of like a designer collaboration for 40 quid. And they're really comfy too. I've just tried them on. I was a bit nervous that maybe the seller might have sold them on in case they, you know, sometimes they come up a little bit small and they looked a bit small to me from eye. 
And so I thought, oh no, I hope they're not going to be <laughs> like tight on me, but they're absolutely perfect. Really comfortable and nice and light too. So very happy with those. I also swung into Lidl. I couldn't resist picking up some of the bits from the Emily in Paris range. I'm sure lots of you are watching Emily in Paris on Netflix. I think it's their number one show at the moment and it's really popular. And they've got some kind of branded food and gifts as well. So I picked up a few bits. I thought you'd like to see them. And also I thought they'd make quite nice gift ideas. Although this isn't a gift. This is just for nibbles. But this would be quite nice. You know if you're just hosting some drinks or maybe having a movie night or something. They're little puff pastry twists with goat's cheese and rosemary. And it says they're made with 23% butter. They've just got like the little <laughs> graphic branding on. So just a little twist on there. And they've got a whole range of different things. They also had some drinks that I saw in the little magazine that looked lovely. They were kind of ones in like the nice glass bottle, soft drinks. And I think they were 3 99 each. For these, for the twists, it's £1.49, which I think is pretty good going. Nice with the goat's cheese and rosemary. They sound delicious. I also picked up the chocolate truffles. These are made with Marc de Champagne and blackcurrant spirit filling. It says fair trade cocoa as well, 125 grams. And this was 2 99 Nice little gift that. And then I picked up the chocolate bar too as well. It's got the little... Emily on the front there as well. And this is milk chocolate, chocolate truffle with cognac filling, which sounds absolutely divine. And this was only £1.29, which is fabulous for a bar of 100 grams of chocolate. I think that's really good value. And then I also picked up this set of Emily in Paris candles. And this one actually has the photograph of Emily in Paris. And these are all scented, kind of themed um, to the programme. So you've got one that is vanilla cream. It's got like a picture of a croissant on the front. And then you've got rose prosecco. Gosh, that's really punchy actually coming through the packaging. They're in these really nice little glass containers as well, which I guess once you burn out could make quite nice little trinket pops. They're kind of like reeded, ribbed glass. So yeah, this one is the vanilla cream. I think these little pots would look quite nice maybe on a dressing table or in a bathroom. And this one is cherry lemonade and it says moi. <laughs> Finally, we have this one which is Rose Prosecco and this one has like a little beret style hat on the front. That's very nice. This is kind of like a really nice, yeah, it's the rose I think that I like with that. I do like rose scents. But yeah, 3 99 for that. And yeah, I just thought that was quite a nice gift idea. I am contemplating doing a little bit of an early, earlier Christmas gift guide this year with having got the inspiration from the press show and I'm seeing things in the shops. I don't know whether to do it or not because I know that people do not want to hear the C words too early but then I know that there's a lot of people that do like to spread the cost and get organised and buy things in advance. So maybe I won't make it a C word gift guide. Maybe I'll just start including little bits and pieces in my vlogs and we won't mention it. <laughs> just include them and then it's up to you if you want to think about maybe going and buying them and squirrelling them away. Let me know your thoughts in the comments anyway. Also, whilst I've got you here, look who's on page three of the Daily Mirror. There we are collecting our award. I love this photo. And it says, Sorted Stay, Stacey Solomon and Sort Your Life Out team rejoice. <laughs> and we did rejoice. I still don't think that that has quite sunk in. I mean, look at this. We're up there with Claudia and Testaly and Anton Deck. Deck did say to me backstage that I need to sort my life out because <laughs> I said we were shambles getting onto the stage because it did take us so long to get up there. He said, you need to sort your life out, <laughs> which I thought was very funny. So yes, is that all the bits I've got to show you here in YouTube corner? I think it is. I have a whole load of stuff for the garden behind you right here, but that's going to be in the home updates video big plans for outside, as I have mentioned. But now I need to throw some things into a bag and we're gonna head up to Euston to get the train up to Manchester for the event this evening with Online Home Shop, which I'm really looking forward to. So I think I'm gonna pack really light and just put like my overnight bits in a backpack, I think. And um, yeah, we'll set off. It's another beautiful day. The sunshine's back out. So yeah, it'd be quite nice to just um, crack on with a bit of editing on the train, I think. I've got about two and a half hours on the train up to Manchester to do that. I'll edit this vlog, I think, and make a start on that at least. And I will take you along to the event this evening. I've got about 20 minutes <laughs> to get myself ready and out the door. So I will put myself together when I check into the hotel. I'm gonna stay overnight in Manchester tonight because the event will finish quite late. And yeah, I better stop bending your ear off. It's time to get packed up and let's go. I've arrived 
arrived in Manchester. I've just checked into the hotel. They've put me up in the Malmaison, which is right next to Piccadilly Station here in Manchester and right across from the northern quarter. I'm opposite some of the beautiful red brick buildings just across the way there. So very close to the venue this evening for the event. And this is a lovely hotel, really handy in terms of its proximity to the station. It's literally just like a three minute walk. And I think then it's another three minute walk to where we're having the event this evening. So very handy, because I've got about half an hour just to get myself sorted and ready. I need to just sort my hair out, get rid of the cap <laughs> situation, and then I need to sort out the cap hair have an emergency banana and we will be good to go. I was just reflecting a little bit on the train up here and thinking about how this evening I'm hosting this event in the Northern Quarter and it was actually in the Northern Quarter of Manchester that I attended one of my first ever, I think it was the first ever blogger event that I ever went to and it was with Reeves Paints who do the like artist paints like the um, watercolours and the oil paints and all that sort of thing and acrylic paints and they held a workshop in a coffee shop and invited bloggers along. We were painting these tiny little terracotta pots with the paint and yeah that was the first ever blogger event that I went along to. I think I've still got that little pot somewhere. I think that was probably in 20, it would have been 2017 or 2018. So yeah I was just reflecting on that and just thinking how grateful I am to now be doing this as my job and that I still get to go to these things. So yeah it's really lovely to be back here in Manchester doing this with a brand that I think are brilliant as well. I really love the products from Online Home Shop and yeah, I'm really excited for this evening. So I'll grab as much footage as I can. It might be a little bit of a mismatch montage situation because I will be focusing on doing my duties <laughs> and putting this bedroom together. After that, I am rather looking forward to this lovely bed <laughs> here at the Mount Maison tonight. I'm very excited. Do you ever get very excited about bed? I think I'm gonna have a nice relaxed morning tomorrow morning. I don't have to get up at the crack of dawn tomorrow, so it'll be Saturday morning, so I can get up at a leisurely hour, and then, yeah, I'll be heading back to London at around 11 a.m. Right, I better get ready. I better get myself sorted out, sort out this mess, and then we'll head over. Just give you a very speedy room tour in case you ever fancy staying here at the Malmaison in Manchester. So we have a nice compact double and yeah, bedside tables either side. We have a nice little wardrobe there where I've just popped my belongings. I don't have much with me at all, but I did bring a scarf, like my blanket scarf, because sometimes you get on the train and it's absolutely freezing. You just want to kind of wrap yourself up with the air conditioning. And then this side we have the tea and coffee making bits. We have some little biscuits. What are these? I have never seen these kind of biscuits before. It says crunchy coconut cookie, or there's a couple in there. Lovely. Might make myself a little tea before I head off. And then the safe is there and the hairdryer. And then over here we have the desk area which also has the television kind of situated within it. And then a little luggage rack where I've popped my bag. Lots of charging points which is always good. There's the USB ones here as well. And there's a couple more over there and one under the desk which I've just plugged my hair straighteners in. So I like the plug situation here. More shelving above. I don't think you'd ever use that shelf would you? But um, I guess if you were somebody with an excessive range of maybe hats or caps, <laughs> you'd have somewhere to pop them in this room. I think I've gone delirious. Around we go, we have a full length mirror. And what do we think of the walls in here? I've just noticed the cherub. I didn't notice that earlier. There is a lot of cherubs. You know, you don't notice them and then you start to notice them. How many have we got? Yep, there is several <laughs> going on. And then as we go around to the bathroom, here we are, nice bath, lovely and clean. And then got the nice white metro tiles, more jazzy wallpaper. And the products are, oh, they're Aaron, my favourites from Scotland. Doesn't say the scent on that one, it says Mal. So maybe they've developed a fragrance, especially for Mal Maison. Yeah, Aaron for Mal. Very nice indeed. Oh, and a towel rail here, which you can switch on and heat up. There's a little switch to do that just outside the bathroom. Right, time to get ready. Everything I'm showing you here, loads of neutrals, we've got the beautiful forest greens, but also, as we are gonna be heading into the festive season, it's worth having a look. If you do like your Christmassy stuff, you like your reds, if you wanna get really Christmassy. It was giving me luxury, but the price point is 15 quid, so we cannot argue with that. It's a really nice size as well. I think that is really lovely. And afterwards, do come and have a feel of everything, because we need to check how soft these things are, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> You 
know anything about children in care, the reason why they're in care is because they don't have parents or family to support them. So children's homes and care homes support children in care. And what Children We Care For is trying to do is be that parent for them. So the concept behind it is we're looking for mentors, we're looking for companies to make being in care a little bit more fun and enjoyable. If you think of the concept of an Argos catalogue when you were young or a Freeman's catalogue, that's what OHS is effectively doing for children. It's like, right, what would you like in your bedrooms? Would you like soft furniture, dressing gowns? Now you would assume that children in care would have these basic necessities, but they don't always, and there are some providers that are not giving the children what they deserve. So when the children receive these, these soft furnishings, they absolutely love them. Um, the girls absolutely love them. They choose their colour and, and it's amazing. It's like when I was young and I had the Argos catalogue, I couldn't always have what I wanted, but I could plan ahead and I could sort of fill it on my vision board or what I really, really want. So that's kind of what we're trying to do. So we're looking for like mentors, people to support the children, not only just soft furnishing, but if you want to give some advice, if you want to give children support, we're welcome to all. So thank you for having us. Thank you Amazing. so much. Thank you. Thank you. rather nice little lie-in this morning before heading back to London shortly. It's a really nice day in Manchester today actually. The sun seems to be peeping through. It's a bit chilly outside, I can tell because I feel a little bit chilly in the room here but it's that nice kind of, yeah, autumn sunshine out there so it looks like it's going to be a lovely day here. Last night was brilliant. It was such a fantastic event, the online home shop put together and pulled off. I feel like they really pulled out all the stops. They styled the space beautifully. They did like an area with a sofa and some of the autumn range and then the bedroom setup that I had with the bed and lots of different products that I was showcasing to everybody. It was a really good turnout. Loads and loads of content creators and some press turned up. Really lovely bunch of people. And it was just really nice to meet all of the team and spend time with them and get a better understanding about how the company works and and what other products they've got and what things they're launching. And yeah, I had a really lovely evening. I thoroughly enjoyed doing my workshop where I talked through all the different products. I was basically showing everybody how they can put together a, I went for like a forest, a winter forest theme with the um, bedroom setup that I did. And it came in at actually under a hundred pounds. Originally, I think the budget was 150 pounds, but I stripped it back to having a bedside table, a beautiful bedding set, throw in a couple of um, throw cushions as well. And then all of that came in at under a hundred pounds. And then I introduced some other products as well that you can kind of mix and match in with that range of things. Yeah, all with the kind of forest greens and the creams, which I loved. And I think went down really well with everybody. And then I explained how you can then kind of introduce some of the reds, because they've got lots of really lovely festive stuff on the website too. And then we had a really lovely sit down dinner all together, which was really special. And Online Home Shop are partnering with a brilliant charity. It's a new charity. It's called Children We Care For. And their founder, Trevor, came along to give us a little talk about the charity and the incredible work that they do. They essentially are working with children who are in the care system in the UK to help and support them. And Online Home Shop have partnered with them. Basically, they're offering children and teenagers who are in the care system, who are either in children's homes or foster care, the opportunity to go through like a lookbook, almost like a catalogue, and pick out some items from Online Home Shop for their bedrooms, for their kind of personal spaces. So, you know, things like the throws and the pillows. And yeah, I think that is just such a lovely idea. I'll leave the charity details linked in the description box. I know that they're looking for people to get involved in all kinds of different ways. And as part of the event last night, Online Home Shop are gifting children in these care homes their wish list. And they put out Christmas cards for everybody to write. So we were all able to write a Christmas card to one of these children. They will then get at Christmas time along with a bundle of all their lovely soft furnishings, which I just think was such a lovely thing to do last night. And yeah, it was just a really lovely evening overall. I really enjoyed chatting to everyone. One of my friends that I met 
on the Berlin trip. A content creator called Libby based up here in Manchester came along as well so it's lovely to catch up with her and yeah it was just a really really lovely evening and considering it was the first kind of event that Online Home Shop have put on I think they absolutely smashed it so I want to say a massive thank you to Alice and all of the team at Online Home Shop for being so brilliant and so welcoming to me as well. I really enjoyed the evening. So yeah, I am going to be working with them a little bit more as we go into autumn and also um, heading into the new year as well. So I will be sharing some of their autumn products to make your home really cosy. I genuinely think they're a brilliant company and as I say, I've, I've featured them. I think I featured them First of all, on packed lunch on, I think it was like my third appearance or something. And I think it was when I did a VT for them from a caravan. I don't know if any of you will remember that, but basically I think it was one of their like oversized like blanket um, hoodies that they do. They do loads of really fabulous products for keeping warm as well at affordable prices. And I think we're going to really need that this winter here in the UK. There's going to be a lot of people struggling with their heating bills as well. And the fact that you can get all of this stuff online and delivered to your door for anybody that struggles to get out to the shops, whether it's elderly or, you know, if you've got needs that make it difficult for you to do that. And they offer a brilliant service and really good value products. And I'm just really excited to see how their products have developed. They did very kindly give me a goodie bag as well. So I can show you a few of the bits that are in here. The first thing, <laughs> this, I wish I'd actually included this in my kind of bed setup because the Christmas tree shaped cushion was definitely a crowd pleaser and I feel like this one would have been as well, the candy cane cushion. It's just like a decorative cushion but that in amongst, if you've got some kind of plain cushions on your sofa and you just want to make it Christmas, just to introduce this, I think it is so fun. It's in this really lovely boucle fabric with the red and kind of cream off white colour. And yeah, I just thought that was fab. I think this is £11. Their prices can um, fluctuate a little bit on the website. They often have um, really good sales as well. So worth having a look at that. And they've also included some very cosy earmuffs. So they do do loads of lovely things to keep you warm this winter. And in here, we have the Waffle Faux Fur Throw, which I featured. It's actually been shrink-wrapped, and it's come up really small, which got me thinking that if you wanted to store this away come, you know, springtime, you could pop it in a vacuum bag, and it really does shrink to nothing, but it's a really decent-sized and very cosy throw. Got the cushion covers here that go with it. And if you get these, when you get them out of the packet, make sure that you kind of really rub that and it brings up all the pile in the fur and makes it kind of like really 3D. You can just see how that's brought it up there. And the back is just really lovely, silky soft fabric. And yeah, they do have a really good range of throws and cushion covers and the price points are fantastic. So I'll leave an um, online home shops website linked for you as well if you fancy having a little browse. They were telling me about some of their products that are flying off the shelves. One of them is a cushion. It's almost like a pregnancy pillow. It's one of those cushions that kind of comes around the sides of you and it comes in different colours and it's basically designed for, you know, when you're sitting on the sofa and it's not very comfortable and you need to like pile up loads of cushions behind your back. It's almost like a bit of a wraparound cushion. That's one of their really popular products. And yeah, they've got loads and loads of things on there. They're also doing furniture now as well. So yeah, do check them out if you haven't discovered them already. And yeah, I'm going to head back to London now on the train and I'm going to get this vlog edited because I think I need to almost go straight into my next vlog, which is going to be all home updates. So yeah, when I get back to London this afternoon, I'll probably make a start with that one actually. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed spending this week with me. I feel like I've had such a brilliant week this week. It's been one of those weeks that have just been incredible. If you did enjoy this video, do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't done so already so you don't miss any of my uploads. I see lots of you searching Mr. Carrington to find my videos. And so if you subscribe, they will be delivered to you. You can also press the bell so you're notified as soon as I upload. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely week ahead. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. I hope you're having a relaxed one if you can. And yeah, that is it for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.